day. This is FHS Broadcasting Service. I am Goodness Oluwashusi. First, the headlines. First time examination commences on 21st of November 2022. Wema Back officials sensitizing students on saving as the world commemorates World Savings Day. Fanti International High School holds their Tamil Students Program. On entertainment news, Mr. Osho, the registrar, words his outrobe. Now, the news in details. The school's first time examination holds on 21st November 2022. The timetable for the examination will be pasted on every notice board within the school and as well as the PTA platform. Students are all to start burning the midnight candle and start preparation for the examination. We also advise them to stay away from any form of examination malpractice. Remember, as you lay your bed, so you rely on it. Dear parents, we urge you to guide your children in imbibing a strong reading habit because readers, they say, are leaders. The World Savings Day is observed annually across the globe on every 31st of October to inform people all around the world about the idea of saving their money in a bank. This year, Fancy International High School students were not left out as they were orientated by the staff of Wema Bank PLC on the importance of saving and having a bank account at a very young age. Our reporter, Irene Walede Wonderful, was present at the seminar. Here is a report read by Monyolua Adenigba. The manager, Wema Bank PLC, Adre Kiti, Mr. Rose Mifamu said, the aim of the bank is to create awareness about saving. He said the bank has been mandated by the Central Bank of Nigeria to ensure that they raise the level of awareness of people as regards saving their money in the bank. Something we do annually all over the world. World Savings Day is always celebrated on October 31st every year. And this is done everywhere in the world. And the purpose of this is to create awareness about savings. Other guest lecturers at the event stated that students should start saving from a young age. They said this will encourage prudency among the students. They also stated that students and corporate organizations can have access to soft loans from the financial institution in which they patronize. The principal of the school appreciated the Wema Bank officials for their good gesture. Thereafter, a certificate of participation was presented to the school. From the school hall, I am Adenigba Muyolua, FHS News. The timely program for students to develop their spiritual and academic growth, known as Students Program, is presently ongoing. The program tagged Divine Help has been wonderful so far. Students prayed and listened to the Word of God with their spirits elated. Highlights of the event are spiritually impacting workshops, seminars, choreography, and sword drill. For entertainment and sport news, our crew members, Samuel Moniyi and Precious Akiola are on standby to tell us the latest happenings in the world of sports and entertainment. Welcome to Sport News. The school chess and scrabble players will be going for a tournament on the 20th of November, 2022, organized by Marvel Chess International. The players have intensified their training in order to make history in the competition. Matches were played in the Premier League during the weekend. Here are the results. Manchester City were shocked by Brentford as they defeated Italia Pep Guardiola side 2 1 at the Etihad Stadium. Chelsea tested defeat for the third time in the row after losing 1 0 to Newcastle. Liverpool trashed at Hampton 3 1. Tottenham Forest beat Crystal Palace by 1 goal to nil. The same goal trailer. Tottenham beat Leeds 4 3. Leicester City defeated West Ham 2 0. Burnham Atwalib to Everton 3 0. As now one goes to zero to extend their leads on top of the table to five points after their closest rival Man City lost 2 1 to Brentford. The FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 is set to commence on the 20th of November 2022. The opening game will kick off between the host country Qatar and Ecuador immediately after the opening ceremony. The competition promises to be an exciting and competitive one with the likes of the defending champions France, Argentina. Portugal, England, Italy, Germany, Netherlands, all playing for the glory of the world's biggest tournament. The players to look out for are Lionel Messi for Argentina, Jude Bellingham for England, Kelly Mbappe for France, Neymar Jr. for Brazil, Darwin Nunes for Uruguay, and Kelvin De Bruyne for Belgium. That's the end of Sport News. Remember to always exercise. I am Samuel Omoni, FHS News. Here is the latest gist of Sport News.
12th of November 2022 was a memorable day in the lives of the newly wedded couple, Oluwato and Olamide Osho. The groom, Olamide Osho, who is the register of the school, happily exchanged the marital vows with his eighth group, Oluwato and the customary marriage registry in Adoikiti. The engagement ceremony was later held at Fountains National High School, where the dowry of the bride was paid in full. The couple received the blessings of both parents and thereafter proceeded for the reception ceremony, where well wishers dined, wined, and danced to the melodious tunes rendered by the school's musical crew. The couple, who their joy knew no bound, had this to say. Short, the experience of today is superb because in one's life, one needs to appreciate God for witnessing something like this because. When someone is giving birth to, you don't know how they take care of you, they will do naming, do all sorts of things. And likewise, by the time the person is old and in leave this world, sinful world, you won't know what is happening. But doing this type of ceremony, having wedding ceremony, is a moment that I'm very happy and I want to equally appreciate the family of Talabi, where I married from. My family as well, family of Osho, the Fountain community, director of study, the principal. When I told him about this uh, program, he said, I'm ready to support you. The school, is, the management is ready to give you maximum support. With that word of encouragement, I was satisfied. Uh, I'm very happy and I appreciate uh, all those people that are being invited for their efforts, prayer, to make this uh, ceremony successful. The principal of the school, Mr. Bia Yakono, also advised the couple to love themselves and build a good future together. I'm happy that they are, they are already into the marriage and they are experienced. So I will only advise them to improve on their standard of living, to understand themselves the more, and know that uh, marriage is a lifelong uh, contract. From all of us in the Fighters Press Group, we say congratulations and happy married life. Nigerian's popular musician David Duan and his fiancée, Chioma Roland, got married two days after their son's death. It was an exclusive and secret wedding done by families and few friends. Chioma's bright prize was said to be paid fully by David Doe, and there was no picture of the wedding for reasons unknown. The wedding, which was to be held next year, was done earlier in order to assure Chioma that she still has a place in David Doe's heart. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. David Adeleke. This is all we have for you on Entertainment News. Till next week. I am Akela Precious. Our student of the week is Adetifa Faith Toluwani, a student of SS2B. Faith was born into the family of Barista and Mrs. Adetifa on 18th October 2008. She hails from Medaoni Yoikiti, local government area of Ikiti State. Faith is a calm, gentle, quiet, and reserved individual. Her best color is chocolate. She has a flair for writing, as her favorite author is James Andrew Shades. Her best friend is Adekule Dockers. She loves biology and her favorite teacher is Mr. Odeemi. Faith's best food is pap, beans and plantain. Her favorite sport is table tennis. Faith wishes to become a computer scientist. That is the profile of our student of the week. I'm Balo Gruani Femi, FIHS News. Do you know? Laughing 100 times is equivalent to 15 minutes of exercise on a stationary bike. Before we end the news, the headlines again. First time examination commences on 21st of November 2022. Wema Bank officials sensitize students on saving as the world commemorates World Savings Day. Fanta International High School holds a timely students program. On entertainment news, Mr. Osho, the registrar of the school, weds his outrobe. We have come to the end of the news bulletin for the week. Join us next week as we give you the latest events in the school and more. Till next week, I am goodness, Oluwashusi.